Welcome to Whiskey and Weapons. Welcome back if you've been before. We've got some nice products to review this week from uh, Tourbon. We certainly have. We will put a link to the, their page on Amazon. We certainly will. Absolutely top quality stuff this, guys. It really is a surprise just how good a quality it is. Loads of whiskey and weapon related items. Indeed. So firstly, you might notice that this fine gun here is laid on this. It is our fleece gun cleaning uh, mat. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have pouches all the way along the end here. These are for putting your gun cleaning accessories. And in the very end, a long pouch for your rods. Absolutely fantastic. Really nice. Just keeps you nice and clean, doesn't it? High quality. Even use this for kneeling down in the field on. Yeah, it's got a nice um, storage bag that comes with it so you can roll it up nice and tight. It doesn't take up too much space. Crack a bit of kit. We'll just get this uh, out the way. So, would you mind passing that off out the way and we'll have a look at some of our stuff. What would you like to show them first? I'll get this out the way. We've got our Cam 70 here. Nicely adorned with a shotgun sling you can see that attaches to swivel mount at the top and the opening clasp oh they're lovely they're man i've got them yeah. on one of the tub on bags they're cracking good idea that just extra safe i think yeah fantastic nice and adjustable what's interesting about this one you might notice is that it's got a little bit of a Oh, it's got a bit of give in it. Yeah, a little bit of That's give. That's nice. Which is good, especially when you're swinging the rifle around and, you know, you're moving around in the field. Just to have a little bit of give. A little bit of freedom, isn't it? It is, yeah. Very nice. I must admit, just show me that a second. Look at this woodstock cover. I know we've probably uh, showed this before. That is really is a nice piece of kit, that. It really is. Mm. Easily released. Just under the Velcro. Drops off the bottom. Cracking. I've got too much on this gun, really, because I've also got... A shell holding sleeve as well. It's just, it's just nice to have the shells there. It is. Some people might not like to carry the rifle in the field with the uh, shells exposed. Mm. For those people, we have this product here. So would you like to shift that out the way and take me some shells out? So what we've got here is the new. It's basically a covered version. It's elasticated on the back, easily fit onto any shotgun. And as we've got here, shells. So slide in like that. It nicely, so just drop a couple in there, it's practically, and then it just clips over, keeps them protected. No accidental misfiring if you drop it, mm -hmm. keeps everything covered up. Fantastic, it certainly does. Really reasonable price, too. Yeah, nice, cheap little uh, accessory, I think. Good quality made. Mm. How often do you get that cheap and quality? I mean, the stitching's absolutely perfect, no loose ends, velcro's on there. What more can you say? We've tested these, really nice. Ideal. What else have we got there? I like this. Do you know what? I'm so jealous. That is, I mean, we've, we've both got these knives, haven't we? We have. Uh, is this the Mora blade that we've got in these? Yeah. Um, we use them when rabbit hunting. And for age, we just had them free in our bag. Mm. Oh, what a saviour these are now. I even made my very own, <laughs> out of an old leather uh, seat cushion, very own leather holder. But do you know what? It's not a patch on this. Oh, it's just top quality, isn't it? Look at it. I mean, the stitching's good. Welded at the side here. Nice belt loop. Button clasp. As and it's say. a nice tight fit in there, isn't it? It is actually. You'd think it was made for this blade. Um, it's a little bit gamey because it needs a good clean and uh, whatnot. But That's the knife, not the, not the holster. <laughs> the holster is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. We won't go anywhere without these now. We've both got one. we both use them in the field. Absolutely primo. Primo. What have we got? So, I'd like to go to this. So what we've got here is an apron. We've got the Toban logo on the front there. It's got multiple pockets. Absolutely fantastic. Now, you can use these in the kitchen. You can use these uh, around the barbecue. Nice and thick. We personally use them uh, during the butchery process, mm. don't we? It's almost got like a, a wax jacket kind of feel to it. Oh, it just wipes off so easily. Mm -hmm. I mean, the storage pockets are fantastic. You can put your knives in there, your sharpener, while you're waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely brilliant start to finish. Rabbit a foot or two in the, one of these pockets here. <laughs> Keep you look. <laughs> absolutely brilliant, like I say. We've got absolutely uh, no quibbles with these. Absolutely cracking again. We've got one each, and they're just absolutely amazing. Just quickly while we're here, just to show you the adjustable neck um, loop. It goes around, around your neck, and buttons on the back here. So, like so. There we go. Adjustable. Three different settings, 
um, for the larger man or the smaller man. Again, with the two-man stuff though, it's nice to see, isn't it? You've got it here. I don't know if just out of shot there. You've got that nice little bit of leather. Mm. You know, how do they do that? They put it on everything and it just looks so classy. For the money as well. So this one here, these two loops are directly above our pouch. And what we like to put in here is put a sharpening steel and a fillet knife in there, or a boning knife, just while you're working. Absolutely great. And again, we've got the same, the leather up here, stitched on lovely. Mm. Looks classy, doesn't it? It certainly does. It certainly yeah. does. Put that one out the way. Okay, going on to another buttstock holder. Hunter Orange. Nice to say that. Nice to say that. But it also has your shell holder here. Obviously, I've got a Magnum um, shells in here. You'd have your rifle shells in here, but this is all we've got at the moment. Yeah, those are 357s, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Velcroed. What's nice to see on the inside is that it's rubberized. Grips it nicely, doesn't it? It does, it does. But not only that, this, pouch, this flap here covers a nice little pouch. Now, we hunt with air rifles quite often. Can keep a tin of pellets in here. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, keeps it nice and secure, doesn't it? A little fill adapter if necessary. Yeah. The other thing about the uh, nice orange logo on the other side, how many times have you taken something like that off and failed and put it down and walked away and left it? You're not going to lose that, are you? True enough, true enough. That's um, embroidered in there, not just printed. Quite nice. Again, nice thick straps, aren't they? Mm. Thick straps, adjustable, Velcro, stays on the gun. I've tried this on mine. Right, we're going to go off to these. This here, actually we'll go on to this one first. So mm. basically, again, we have a small fly rail hold here. Absolutely cracking, nice thick zip, and nice leather tags that aren't gonna snap off. I mean, how many times have you been pulling the zip and it just breaks away the tiny little bit of metal? Lovely in there, soft lined inside. Absolutely spot on for keeping your fly rail safe. And again, total one leather, cracking bit of kit. Can't wait to put our fly reels in that for this year's salmon season. Oh, no. I love this. Have you seen that? Nice little embossed deer in the centre. It's just the detail, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And everything. Mm -hmm. So that, like I mentioned, is the single, uh, or the small fly reel case. This is the double. You can use either one large one, or you can use two small ones in here. And as you've seen, he's pointed out, it's a hard case. This is going to keep it nice and protected. Thick leather uh, strap there with a really nice stiff button catch. Absolutely top quality. What's nice about that is you'll, you'll know that uh, fly reels are often aluminium to keep the weight down and whatnot. Yeah. If you've got an aluminium fly reel in a soft case and you're storing it away during winter, it could get crushed or mangled. Hard case. Yeah, and no if you're issues. running top end gear like some of the Hardy's fly rods, some of them reels are hundreds of pounds, you know, and exactly what you need in it, stop getting scratched. And again, let's see on this one, leather embossed with a stag there. Amazing. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with mm. that. Fantastic quality. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Which brings me on to this next item. Now this is a double strap rifle sling. So what we've got here is, <clears throat> imagine this is the fr your front of your chest, one shoulder, other shoulder, goes down to a loop here, that's where you'd have your sling swivel in here and on the rear your sling swivel there. Adjustable, it's also got a clip which breaks open nicely. Apparently you can use this as a single sling also but with so many uh, clasps and whatnot I've not quite worked that out yet. <laughs> we'll get there. What's... Oh again. It's, it's quality made, isn't it? Mm. Like everything that we've had so far. Brilliant, nice stitching, lovely finish to everything. I'm liking the rubberized back on this because it actually grips your shoulders and doesn't slip forward or back, which is nice. Yeah, I've got the normal nylon one um, mm -hmm. on my gun case, um, on my gun sleeve, and oh, it slips down your shoulder and gets into that uncomfortable position right on your collarbone. Oh, but yeah. you wouldn't have that problem with this, would you? You certainly wouldn't. And do you know the colours are nice? Browns, dark greens. They're going to blend in with your camouflage as well. Yeah, well, if you're hunting, you might be on a driven shoot with your uh, your twig gear on it, and it would go just as nicely. It certainly would. It certainly would. I like that. Lastly, yet another gun sling. Nice thick strap there. That's not going to be digging into your shoulder anytime soon. I mean, some of the shotguns and some of the rifles can be quite heavy, can't they? Mm -hmm. And when you're on a thinner strap, they really do dig in. 
lovely buckles there for adjustability slide both ways absolutely top end quality isn't it and again with the uh, the buckles leather fitted with the old uh, push button fit absolutely spot on and I must like I must say double stitch here and embossed with the logo absolutely fantastic I mean we've got them on uh, on both of our guns now we've never had any problems with them whatsoever and these push button fits where they, they push over like that um, it sort of pushes over a fattened dowel at the end absolutely cracking lovely and stiff great I've also got this uh, deluxe universal gun claiming kit now we obviously uh, are using the 357 as we have here lovely and this little deluxe cleaning kit comes in a nice little hard case isn't it nice just to have somewhere to put your gun down though it you're not worried about scratching it and you've got a decent piece of equipment here and this for the money what you pay for it absolute bargain protects it from damage absolutely great it's it's ideal isn't it look at this nice little case um, different size rods you could run it just on a on a single rod for your short two and a half inch barrels or you could add this I'll just quickly show you that to there and we've got an extension there good for cleaning out any lead uh, remains in the barrel are the uh, pellets that we use in the air rifles uh, zinc coated like the air rifles their pistols good question you know I'm not exactly sure, but I think, like I say, predominantly when you're cleaning out pistols, I mean, this is an air pistol, it's a replica of a 357 Magnum. Um, if you're using the real thing, you would have a lot of lead residue and maybe a little bit of copper residue in there from the, the tip of bullets. So, ideal and small, compact. True enough, true enough. I'm really pleased with this little company. I mean, I've, I've not heard of them before. Mm. But Everything that we've had from them, we've never had any complaints, have we? No, we've been using them for, for some time now and nothing's failed. No. Nothing's give away, everything's good quality. Um, I really recommend them. Yeah, I mean, if we need something for the field, whether it be a knife holster or a, a buttstock cover, whatever it is, we always have a quick look there first to see if they've got it because nine out of ten times, they're cheaper than the competition and better quality than the competition. Yeah. And you know the best way to repair them is to look in the bottom in the description and I'll put a link there. Yeah, have a look, see what you think guys. Mm. I'm sure you'll find them as good quality as we do. Excellent. If you liked our video, thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Give us feedback. Have a look on our uh, our new Instagram, which is Whiskey and Weapons, or... Or Twitter, at Whiskey and Weapons. You'll see many reviews posted up, be it uh, weapon related or... Um, whiskey related as I went in and everything in between exactly cheers guys thanks for watching